The worst job I ever had was working in a call center. I was working for a telephone service provider and I was in disconnections. When people wanted to disconnect their they would get me. They would call up furious. Sometimes actually very upset because they wanted to disconnect because a loved one had died. And I still had to upsell to those people. <laughs> that's not as hard as you think. You think that's hard. But you know, oh, Mr. Jeffries, I'm so sorry to hear about the death of your wife. For 45 years, wow, nothing will ever fill that void. Would you like an iPad? <laughs> the warm glow of Grey's Anatomy might be a... Many people find that a satisfying alternative to their dead wife. Anyway, <laughs> most of the time, though, they'd be furious. They'd call, I'm going to come down there with a knife in your chest, you son of a bitch. And you go, calm down, madam. We can work through this issue together. And almost every time on hearing my voice, the person on the other line would say, wait a minute, mate, are you a, an Aussie? And I'd say, yes. And they'd say, oh, thank God you're an Aussie, mate. I've been talking to these fucking. They'd list a couple. <laughs> and they'd say, but just talking to an Aussie, it's so good. And then they'd basically congratulate me for being white <laughs> for 10 to 15 minutes. It's like living in the 50s, baby. It was pretty good. <laughs> but here's what I learned working in a call center. It's a piece of advice I give to all of you. If you call a call center and you get a white guy, you hang up and try for Indian. Because these are some low quality whites working at that call center. I mean, my goodness me. These whites, let me tell you, these whites, oh, they have such a low quality. If they were in a Dan Murphy's, they'd be in a big bucket with $6 written on it. I mean, my goodness. If these whites were a song, that song would be playing on public transport with no headphones. Mm. Low quality white. You call a call centre that's based in Australia and you get an Indian. He's probably from the north of that country where he was a doctor and he's just come here looking for a better life for his family. He's studying for his equivalency degree and working at that call centre during the daytime hours just to put his kids through a private school. And you call a call centre, you get a white guy. He ripped a bong on the bus in. <laughs> you know? There's just, there's some jobs I will not trust white people to do. But if I order an Uber and that Uber driver is white, I cancel that Uber immediately. Mm. I do not want to talk to Gary about his divorce. I want to talk to Gundeep. Gundeep knows how to talk about cricket and politics. He's got both kinds of Mentos in that Uber he can conduct a quiet conversation with a loved one back home. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible the things he's able to do.